Thurlow, 20, continued to persist in visiting her GP, and it was only on her third visit that she discovered the lump was not a cyst. Instead, she discovered that it was a potentially deadly cancerous tumor. Chloe, from Bristol, had discovered several lumps on her neck back in May last year, and her boyfriend persuaded her to visit the doctor. According to the Bristol Post, the doctor reassured her that they were cysts and nothing to worry about. She returned to the practice three months later after one had grown to be the size of half a golf ball. Again, a doctor told her to ignore them unless they started to hurt. One of the lumps then began to press against her skull, causing extreme pain. She said, I went back to the doctors again. They suggested draining it, but when the doctor looked at it, he said this is not a cyst. I was sent to a specialist at Bristol Royal Infirmary, they referred me to the oncology department. I had no idea that oncology meant tumors. I was blasé about my health and kept thinking I would be fine. After a biopsy I got my diagnosis, acute lymphoblastic lymphoma. I still didn't realize that meant cancer. It all happened so fast. When you first get a diagnosis your mind blows up and you can't focus on everything going on. But everyone has been amazing and all the support I've received has been brilliant. Brave Chloe opted to take part in a clinical trial for treatment. She said it meant I would take different drugs and an increased dosage for some rounds of chemotherapy, but I decided to go for it. It was potentially a better form of treatment, and I liked that I was helping with the research. I started the treatment a couple of days later and have now completed four phases of intensive chemo. My teenage cancer trust youth support coordinator, Hannah, is brilliant. She organizes loads of different events to keep us entertained, like bag making and picture frame painting. Chloe said, as a young woman, the whole hair loss thing is terrifying. I've still not got used to it, but I've a big range of wigs and I like looking a little eccentric. I had natural long blonde hair which has all fallen out, but now I wake up and think I want pink curly hair today or rainbow hair today. It's been really fun matching my hair color to my clothes and going a bit mad with it. While being cared for at Bristol Hematology and Oncology Center, Chloe was cared for on the Teenage Cancer Trust Unit a specially designed ward for young people. She said, it's fantastic. I had my own room with a private bathroom and was even able to have a few friends sleep over at a time. Being stuck in a dreary hospital doesn't help your mood, so being able to decorate my room with fairy lights and pictures really lift my spirits and makes it feel more like home. I would say to anyone diagnosed with cancer, don't be too scared. There are many amazing people and organizations to help you through. Chloe's story will be the subject of a BBC Two documentary tomorrow evening. Teenagers vs Cancer, a user's guide will be broadcast at 9. 30 p.m. on Tuesday, June 25th. The BBC says this film, narrated by actor and comedian Jack Whitehall, tells 11 inspirational stories, revealing how a range of young people have dealt with their cancer diagnosis in the treatment process. In their own words they describe their fears, their hopes and their experiences affirming the view 
that the best therapist for a teenager with cancer is another teenager with cancer. Chloe's story tragically presents the argument that the age restrictions on drugs trials should be broadened, said the BBC. To find out more about the show, visit the BBC program's website.